This QDS training video will start a CAPI survey, demonstrate how to interrupt and resume an interview, and then see how the interrupted and resumed data is represented in the Warehouse Manager. You may occasionally need to interrupt an interview if the respondent is unable to complete the full survey in one sitting, or in some cases you may also need to resume and then complete that interview at a later time. First, we will open our CAPI survey by double-clicking on the survey file name from Windows Explorer. Note that you could also have a desktop shortcut to start from. For this example, we're going to open our CAPI survey study on CAPI.QPI. Notice that the CAPI interview control file always has the file extension of .QPI. CAPI will open to the first screen of the survey, which here is an information element screen and we'll click Next Question to proceed. We'll respond to the first couple of questions before we interrupt our survey. First, we'll enter our subject identifier. Next, we'll proceed through the first screen, another information element displaying a welcome. Next, we'll go ahead and enter a response for gender. At this point on the date of birth question screen, we will decide to interrupt the interview. You can safely interrupt an interview in the following ways. From the main menu, you can go to Interview End or Interview Exit. The End option will simply end the current interview, whereas Exit will end the interview and also exit from the CAPI program. As a shortcut, you can also select Alt F4. Note, it is very important to only use these methods for interrupting a survey. You should never use the Task Manager, Control-Alt-Delete, or just shut down the computer, as that could leave the data file in a corrupted state. For all of those interrupt options, such as End Interview, you will be asked, are you sure you want to terminate this interview? If you say no, you will just go ahead and return to the CAPI screen. If you say yes, then you will interrupt the current interview and it will be saved in an interrupted state from which it can be resumed later. To resume an interrupted interview, go to Start, All Programs, Questionnaire Development System, CAPI Program. You will see the CAPI Open dialog box. After you've navigated to the appropriate folder, and then you can select your control file here again our study survey. Select the resume a prior interview radio button from the bottom right hand corner of the screen and click open. Now you will see the pending interviews dialog box. This will display a list of any incomplete cases in the current data file. In other words, for CAPI to find your incomplete interview, the data file still needs to be present in the same folder and with the same name as the CAPI control file. If the QAD data file containing the interrupted interview was moved or renamed, then it would not be displayed there. If you do need to open an incomplete interview from a renamed data file, you can change the files of type to .qad, the data file, and then navigate to the renamed file. Note that you will also be asked to select the control file name. Overall, though, it is simplest if interviews are completed before the QAD data file is renamed or moved. So, we'll resume our prior interview that was item subject 1234 that was incomplete. Note that it's also possible to open previously completed interviews by selecting the Show All button. In this case, there were no previously completed interviews. Note that the Show All button will only be enabled if the Disallow Resumption of Completed Interviews option was unchecked under CAPI Build Options. Now we will select our interview to resume and click OK. A dialog box will confirm that the interview is being opened. The CAPI program will take you to the screen at the point at which the interview was interrupted. Here that was the response for the gender item. From this point, you can go ahead and finish all the items in your survey. Next we will take a look at how the incomplete and resumed interview look in the data file in the Warehouse Manager. With your local warehouse open, go to File, Open Source Data, and navigate to your QAD interview file and click Open. 
When your source data file opens, you will notice that you have two interviews listed for your interrupted and resumed interview. One is marked as resumed later, and one is marked as duplicate complete. The resumed later is the interrupted interview, where the responses ended at our last question, which was gender. The duplicate complete is the completed interview where the responses were completed all the way to the end. You can copy both of these interviews into your local warehouse. First, QDS will ask you if you want to replace the interview since it is a duplicate. We will respond no so that we can have both the incomplete and completed interviews in our local warehouse for documentation. If you prefer, you could have chosen to only copy the one complete interview to the local warehouse. To mark the incomplete interview deleted before you export your data, you can select the Resumed Later interview and click on Delete. By default for the Data Corrections log, you will be asked for your name or initials, and then you will be asked for a reason. We'll enter a reason of incomplete duplicate. Now you can see that your full interview is marked as complete and the incomplete interview is marked as deleted resumed later. Alternately, if the interview had never been completed, it would be marked like this in the warehouse manager data file and the local warehouse. Any data that was never collected will be blank or empty. You can decide whether or not those cases should be kept for data analysis. To learn more about QDS data files and data management with the Warehouse Manager, see QDS Online Help or other QDS training videos.